be prepared for highly offensive language right from the very start and constantly throughout. Aggressive confrontations and adult and sexual themes. Previously, House Mietz nominated Fierce to Fierce. I turn her stomach. You are a little bit of a people pleaser. Hurt my feelings. The biggest game player here. It's Gemma. It's the low blow. Will you just leave out? Steph. Steph caused a lot of friction in the house. Steph, because of what was going on with Jeremy, it messed him up a bit. This is the evilest thing I've ever done in my life. Tonight, housemates go really wild. And we're live. Let's meet our first animal. <gasps> oh, get this bad off me. No, no. I couldn't handle it. And Stephanie is enemy number one. I didn't ju jump in the pool, did I? Yeah, so then you should hang it up, don't leave it in the corner. She's getting away with murdering this guy. Why should I pick up some other bird's walls off the floor? Why are you doing that? Okay? Leave them. He's running around after her like a puppy dog. Am I being made look like a tick? Jeremy, I'm not going to lie to you. She's been teasing me for the whole time. She wants a boyfriend. Why can't Jeremy see that? She's mugging you off. Yeah, I can't handle any of that emotional shit. What? What's wrong with you? Just that. Just go into bed, please. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Dear sixteen nine thirty one AM. For this week's shop and task, random events will be taking place in the house. To pass the task and receive a luxury shop and budget, housemates must simply go along with whatever happens. Anyone who doesn't join in will incur a fail for the whole house. For their first unexpected event, housemates have been woken by a fitness instructor for an early morning spinning class. Darren and Stephanie are not taking part for medical reasons. Those were test transmissions. I ain't doing it. I ain't awake. You can see on the cameras I've struggled sleeping. I hate spinning! <laughs> Come on, let's go, go, Gemma, go. baby, you gotta do the spin class, OK? Huh? I'm doing it. If you've got a problem with it, I'll go. He's going Jim! Get up! Gemma, get up! If Gemma doesn't do it, though, we're gonna fail. Can you probably make her get up? Because it's not fair on everyone else that has got up. You've got to get ripped! Who wants to get ripped? Really? Not me. I don't want to get ripped. The line is get ripped. Don't oh. be a drip. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Stay with me. Oh, this feels so good. Oh. So who's got a chocolate bar on the shopping list? Me. None yet. Chris. Yeah. Who wants to read the Where are you going to done your task, right? Right. Chris. OK. Oh. I'm so happy to get up and join. Beautiful. Hand position three. Let's push. Oh, shit, now, right. Are you sweating like pigs yet? Yeah. Yes. Are you sweating like a dog? Yeah. Don't be a brat to burn the fat. Yes, Mr. Okay. Tiffany. Oh, I hate this shit, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Because I want to eat. Just keep pushing down. You are you too mid to quit, Tiffany. OK, hey. <laughs> <laughs> 11 or 8 a.m. Christopher, Jeremy and Daniela are talking about Gemma's absence from the spinning class. I wish Gemma had gone off. We've got a pretty fucking fail. We've got a fail there. I don't mind because we've done some exercise. She's got to do that. She should just stay out of the test. I can't believe we've got a fail on the first one in the morning. So we failed one with Gemma, not for fucking. 
Earlier today, Megan lent Stephanie her tracksuit. All the tracksuits I'm wearing in here is for a reason. I mean, smile, style. I always wear tracksuits, so I'm a smile thing. And then um, I had like two clean ones left. And she came over and she was like, oh, can I have it? Can I wear one? And I was like, oh. well, I'm, I'm going to be repeating, but then you never know how long I'm going to be in here. Really annoys me. It's like I've got my own stuff, do you know what I mean? I want to wear my own shit. <clears throat> so I want like, other people wearing my stuff, and then people start thinking, oh, look, they've got the same stuff, I want my own stuff. Gemma is venting in the diary room. I don't want to play another task. I fucking hate them. <laughs> I just want my life back. I want to get up, go and get a blow dry, a spray tan, go to my shop, normal life. <sighs> Instead of playing fucking stupid tasks all day for a £200 shopping budget. Or to win a bit of smoked salmon, who's bothered about that? It's just too much. And you're going to put out on air, me in bed whilst everyone's fucking doing that. I know I ain't having it no more. That's it. It's a fucking piss take. You're all taking the piss out of me. Honestly, I'm being serious. My hair, this is very expensive hair. It's fucking frazzled. Because you've only got straighteners in here. You haven't got heated rollers. So you better pay, you can pay for me to have a new set of extensions. The fucking hair is frazzled. Why didn't you think of putting heated rollers in here? Straighteners are what fucking weirdos use on their hair. That's what you think of me, so I ain't gonna perform anymore. Megan is trying to nap. Jeremy and Stephanie are hiding their housemate's shoes. But now and we couldn't get any sleep. What? I didn't sleep all last night. Do you know that? Don't, don't grass on us. I'm definitely grassing like. No, don't. We shouldn't have happened done. there. Coming up, Gemma's had it with Christopher. Now he can fuck himself now. Ain't messing about. He's got to get some balls. To... He's our old, you say? And Tiffany is terrified. <laughs> Be prepared for highly offensive language constantly throughout. Two twenty eight PM. Stephanie is playing a prank. Tiffany and Gemma are in the snug. Isn't it lovely up here? I like it. I kind of like that I feel closer to the sky up mm, here. That's why I sit up here. I just noticed that. I'm never going to go to prison, though. Oh, so I don't know gosh. how people do it. Why did you say You're that? Right, darling. fucking bored out with tits. Yeah, you can't sit there. I'm absolutely so bored. We're just saying that we'd never want to go to prison because I know. it'd be like this. What a fucking dope. Everyone's asleep. I have to pour toothpaste on Jez's head. head. Fuck off! No! Not on the head! No! no. no. 
You stupid bitch. You two in this toothpaste. <laughs> and she's got to wash all her hair now. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> men. Yeah, babe, oh, get it out now before it dries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just let you do it. Cause oh no, not this is this is their next top. What are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. <laughs> Tiffany and Gemma are talking about being nominated by Christopher. And to be honest with you, Tiffany, like I'll, I'm gonna chat to you now. I'm really taken back by what Chris has done to both of us because we've been nothing but nice to Chris. And I'm kind of feeling like, now to the point, if I'm making a cup of tea and a drip falls off my teaspoon, he's gonna put me up again for nomination. And now it's making me think that he don't like me. This is a game. And people may say, or act like this is the Brady Bunch in here, but in the back of their mind, they're strategizing too and they're going to try to get rid of the strongest people in this house. They ain't gonna get rid of me. They're, they're probably thinking, without us, their lives would be easier. <gasps> Honey, of course. I wasn't put here to play kitty games. That's not what I do. That's not on the agenda of Tiffany New York Pollard. <laughs> Two fifty-five p.m. For this week's shop and task, housemates must simply go along with any unexpected events that happen in the house. For the next part of the task, Tiffany and Christopher must go along with being presenters of a wildlife TV show. You're a person! So, uh, we're about to go live in a minute. I don't know where you've been, but uh, can I get you in position, please? They must read out facts about the animals they are handling from the auto queue. There's an the auto queue there. We're going to go live in my, on my countdown. So be standing oh by, please. Oh God! What is going on? Okay. What they don't know is that these facts are fake. Crystal, believe anything that they're right now. This is so good. <laughs> so funny. Are you guys reading auto queue? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Big Brother has left some blanks in the script, which Tiffany and Christopher must fill in with another housemate's name. Three, two, one, and we're live. Hello, and welcome to the, another episode of The Beast in the Big Brother House with your host, me, Tiffany Pollard. Go, go. And me, Christopher Maloney. <laughs> Here on the Beast in the Big Brother house, we'd like to get up close and personal with some of the most wild, crazy, and dangerous animals on the planet. <laughs> we've scoured the globe and on the hunt for the most dangerous animals we could find, and we brought them here to Big Brother. I know. Oh, so, without further ado, let's meet our first animals. Ooh, <laughs> is this real? Oh, 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 oh. oh! Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. It's an animal. It's a real life oh, animal. <laughs> go, go pet it, Chris. No! Go introduce yourself to it. <laughs> this is Randy. Hi, Randy. Now, the first animal, <laughs> as you can see, is a tarantula. Randy, welcome to the show. <laughs> Look at Chris. How many legs do we have? One, two, three. How many legs is it? <laughs> Nine, I think. Our assistant is now going to place the tarantula in my hands. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's wicked, that. I can't believe he's doing this. Oh my goodness! Ooh! Ooh, get it. Ooh! Yay! You did good! Oh my God, Chris! I don't know how he's doing it. This tarantula is called Randy. He got the, that name <laughs> due to his unusual high scent. Oh, he wants to mate. <laughs> <laughs> Still, it can be. He's got near his hand. He's got near his hand. To bite! <laughs> <laughs> Don't put it on him again. Oh, come on. He's all right. He's good. You're making Randy feel right at home. Really? Yes. I can feel it picking on my arm. <laughs> this spider tends to mate with many, many partners. 
It has probably had more sex partners than my housemate, <laughs> Scotty T. Yay! Yeah. Oh my goodness, you better be still. Oh my God. Most people won't recognize this particular breed of tarantula. It is even less f famous than my housemate. <gasps> it's crawling up me arm. Stephanie. <laughs> oh my God, you need to get this spider off me. Oh my God, I can't. I can't handle it. I can't. This spider is incredibly unpredictable and basically can't be trusted just like my housemate. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, you know what? I love her, but I'm going to have to say Gemma. Our assistants will now take Randy back and bring in our next animal. <laughs> I couldn't deal with that. I'd be screaming. This could actually be a TV show, you know. This is so wicked. The next animal, I don't know what it is. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. No, 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 no. Show's over. Show's over. Oh. That's a bad Oh my god. Go see it. Tiffany, you can't no. leave me. No. So our next beautiful animal is a albino Burmusmi python. Burmese. Due to its deadly nature, I will now place my goggles on. I'm not doing this. I told it for the spider. I know you did, but I like snakes, but not in that size. And usually the snakes I go for are in my man's pants. I am not going to touch that snake. Oh my gosh, it's so big. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, 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 no. I don't think no, she's gonna no, do it. No, 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 I can't. <laughs> I don't cry. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Steve is a constrictor. What is that? It means that it'll strangle you. <laughs> uh -uh. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. When thirsty, this snake tends to drink from shallow lakes. However, these lakes are not as shallow as my housemate, Gemma. He ain't said me again. Yeah. No, he can fuck himself now. I ain't messing about. Keeps using people that thinking, nah. <sighs> fuck this guy. He's probably using your name because he feels more comfortable with you. Yeah, but he's got to stop it. He's got to get some balls. To... Is that how old you say? Just like my housemate. Gemma, you silly cunt. Why is she getting angry? Gemma's gonna go off at Chris when, she come, when he comes back in. I know, but the point is you're supposed to be honest. That's what they've told you, that's the whole this point. This is what pisses me off about people that play games and they're not honest. It's so annoying. Why can't you just be fucking honestly? And that is also all we have time for on Beast in the Big Brother house. See you guys next time. Bye! Bye. 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 3.55 p.m. It's been 15 minutes since Tiffany and Christopher finished their task. Chris, can I have a chat with you a minute, please? Yeah. Just give me a minute, I'll just make a cup of tea. Um, Gemma wants to speak to me. Don't worry about it, Chris. Listen, Chris, don't worry about it, yeah? I've got to go in. She's just Gemma's fuming. Into the bedroom. She wants to come speak in to me in the bedroom. Just be Want cool. Why? Go. go I'm going to go and get changed. Go with. I'm not letting anyone bully him anymore. Go with. Are you free? Yeah, yeah, I'm going just one sec. Tough enough. Do you want to go in there? No, it's all right. Do you want to go in there? Yeah. <clears throat> Chris, why do you keep using my name? It wasn't, it wasn't literally, it no, wasn't... No, but it's twice now. So you, you're not realising when it says the most shallow person in this house. I didn't, it wasn't So meant. like when people said on the X Factor you was a crybaby and it stuck, you're not thinking, you keep using my name and I'm asking you to get some gumption and to please stop using my name. Tiffany did the same. It was just to win the task. It was just... Do you think I'm shallow? No. What you're doing is hurting. What you've done at the eviction has hurt me. 
and then you've done it again today and I ain't nobody scapegoat. And I nominated it because I thought it was a fair nomination and I stand by that Gemma. I didn't mean to upset you. And on, you're taking it personally and it wasn't meant personally Gemma. I, I, I didn't just pick your name because I thought yeah I'll stick the knife in. It wasn't like that at all. It was just in general. You're looking too much into it honestly Gemma. And I, I, that's why I was taken aback by that. You can wait or not? Yeah. Good. Do you know what all I mean? Right. Sweet. Oh, shit. So it. Coming up, Daniela Ridges. If I speak to her right now, I'm liable to fucking lose it. I'm telling you now. And Megan kicks off. I'm sick of it. This is my shit. Everyone's not taking respect. No one's respecting me with my shit. Be prepared for highly offensive language constantly throughout and aggressive confrontations. Four thirty-six p.m. Megan is in the bedroom and she's not happy. Seth, are you taking the piss? What's she done? Just thrown that in the corner? No, she's jumped in the pool with it on. Well, your tracks. Track and I threw it into it too. Well, I don't care. Sorry. I'm sure. Sure disrespectful face. to my shit. I said she can borrow it. It's disrespectful. I knew I was going to flip. <coughs> Steph, that's piss take. What? My tracksuit. No, Jess pushed us in the so? pool. But you chucked us in the pool. But I'm it's not soaking wet. To take him. I'm going to hang it up. No, because you're not hanging up because it's obviously like oh, all chlorine on it. No. No one's touched my stuff anymore. No one's borrowing anything. Megs, it's just wet from the no, pool. I've, no, because it's pissing me off. I let you borrow my tracksuit. Yeah, but I didn't ju jump in the pool, did I? Yeah, so then you should hang it up. Don't leave it in the corner. I'm borrowing yeah, I didn't my jump stuff. In the I'm pool. letting you borrow my stuff. No, even my oh, even my pajamas oh, were on in uh, in sung on there and everything. I'm sick of it. This is my shit. Everyone's not taking respect. No one's respecting me. My shit. Hey, she should go in there now. Fucking clean it for me. She won't. Leave it in a corner. Leaving it in the corner. The house is so tense now. I feel like just sitting in the loo. I dread to know what's going on in that bedroom now. Meg's been in a foul mood all day. No respect for what other people's stuff. What is all this stuff? other shit on the floor? No, no, I don't know. No respect for other people's stuff. This was mine, it, right? Dan, what well, I borrowed to her the other day, and it was in her case, scrambled up like that. I let her fucking borrow my stuff because I'm a friend, and then she's not respecting it. Meg's is already blowing, I think, out there. Like, it was a tracksuit. Yeah, she lent me it. But he threw us in the pool. I'm about I'm five two. He's like six foot four. Not really going to be able to fight him off. Got to pace time back. Put it Listen, on the back. I spend, I spend a fortune on my shit. Anything I earn, I spend on my own clothes. Oh yeah, well that's. And it's pissing me off. Let me do it because I'm washing greys anyway, so it'll be perfect. The greys are in the bathroom put on the floor. It's pissing me off. Put it on that seat there, babe. There. Come on then, I'll wash them. I think it's clothes. Why are you doing her clothes, Jess? Yeah. Jess, what? why are you doing I'm her just clothes? Her out. Leave them. She needs to do something. All her stuff's everywhere. I'm sick I'm of it. I'm just folding a bit. No, I'm sick of it. Let her do it herself. She's a grown girl, man. We want to do our own shit. She's my friend and I love her, but she's too far with the shit, man. It's all good. Bullshit. Bullshit. We ain't cleaners. Clean your own shit. Clean your own shit. It's a fucking normal thing. Clean your own fucking shit. Four fifty-six p.m. Gemma is showing off her flexibility. Yeah. Shall I see how far I can push them down? All right, be careful. I don't want to tear it. I've just had it done. <laughs> she just had a designer vagina. Right, you've All got right, gentle, 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 gentle. Shall, shall I tell you what you've got to do? Rocket. So push so. against my push against my hands. You put push against my hands. This helps them go down. Right, push, right. push against my hands. Yeah, that's it. You push against me. I'm going to put push well, against me. Far. Push against me. Push against me. Push against me. Relax. Let her go further. Push against me. Push against me. Right, yeah, no, I'm going to tear it. Way, I'll tear it. No, I can do splits. She just had a new one, hasn't she? I've just had a new one. Hang on. No, I can do the splits. What? Be careful. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can. Be careful. Woo! 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 Yes. <laughs> Megan has come to talk to Big Brother. 
I don't, I, you know what, it ain't because I'm in here and I'm getting stressed about everything. I would be like this at home as well. Because if my sister took one of my brand new tracksuits that I hadn't even put on and then done that, it just shows you what type of people, shows you what type of person. Like, I love Steph, I get on with her, she's my mate in here. I've helped her through her lowest points in here with the whole Jeremy shit which is a load of bollocks. He's running around after her like a fucking puppy dog. And all she's, she's got a boyfriend at home. She's gonna run out and go back to her boyfriend because she's told me. She loves a boyfriend, she's told me that. She wants a boyfriend. Why can't Jeremy see that? All oh, right, he might have feelings for her. That's bollocks picking her case up, picking her shit up, putting it all away. It's bollocks. It is fucking me off. I just want two minutes on my own without people Irritating me! It's just bollocks. I just feel like I've been there the whole time for Jeremy, for Steph, Jeremy, for Steph, Jeremy, for Steph, the whole time. Whole time. Then I just get pushed out of the picture. So I'm done with it now. Six fifty-four PM. To pass this week's shopman task, housemates must go along with any unexpected events that happen in the house. Oh, God. Thank God, finally. There you are. Jeremy, I've been waiting over an hour for you. You're really oh late for your babysitting shift. Oh, Here shit. you go, OK? What? Here you go. Oh, my God. OK, take care of them, all right? Um, I don't know what time I'll be back, but I'll see you later on, OK? Thanks very much. Oh. What the fuck? You're a dad. Oh, shit, I curse in front of the baby. You're going to be up all night with them. Jez, oh, you're a daddy. Are they ours? Oh, sure. <laughs> What's the story with this? She was Irish. Sit down. She was Irish. Oh, my God. Oh, the twin. Oh, my God. I thought that was proper a bird that I shagged before. Oh, oh shut up. up. Daniela has made a discovery. Why is Jeremy's show under my pillow? <laughs> Why is Jeremy's shoes underneath one of my pillows? Because Stephanie was running around today doing all sorts of shit in our beds. It's and... not fucking nice, man. I don't want to go to bed. I've got to sleep in there. What's up? Just found Jeremy's trainers wedged underneath my pillows. Because in between my pillows because Steph's hiding his stuff. They were running I have to sleep in that fucking bed. Oh, man, what's wrong with you? They better not touch none of my shit. My shoes are thousands of pounds worth of gear. I said that. So what have they done? Because I, I will know what go they Garrity. Did, I don't know what they did. Have they nicked my shoes? I don't no, think they they've haven't. nicked them. I found a pair of shoes there, wedged in my pillow. Look, there's a fucking footprint on my pillow. I have to sleep there. For fuck's sake, it's not a game. Oh, my God. Riley, they've nicked my Dolce & Gabbana smoking give pups. Give me strength. <laughs> there was I'm some... Put them where? They're fucking expensive. I think they've put them probably hidden them somewhere. Yeah, where? Not. Why? But they're fucking expensive. Where are they? Because that's a where fucking are they? piss take. Where She's are on the, the sofa them? going to ask her. She's not on the sofa. She's she with wherever he fucking is. I think they've got cr rhinestones in the bathroom. Yeah, but I'm in sick the of them bathroom. fucking. With they're in the bathroom. No, I think they're in, I think they're in the bathroom. Well, let's go in the bathroom and have it out of them then. Fucking them bollocks. Them chink of banners like. don't come back as they were left. Do you know what? I feel to pull all the fucking stuff off her bed and piss in it. That's how fucking angry I am. I'm sorry, I am. Um, hey, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Gemma's having a flip. Why? Did you, have you took her shoes? No. She's flipping. She's up, she's flipping. The Dolce and Gabbana. I mean, Dolce and Gabbana. It's not Dolce. She's looked under a bed, at the side of a bed. You definitely haven't took them? No. no. You need to go and sort it out then, because you need to tell her that you haven't took them. You know, she's flipped. Oh. I've hid, I've hid Jess's, one of Jess's shoes there. Yeah, I know, under the yellow pillar. Yeah. She's flipped and all. Has she? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's having a fit, Because there's a footprint in the bed. I've got to fucking sleep oh, there. Oh, shit. Sorry, you just there. did it as a laugh laugh. I know, I know, I know did. you did. Oh, fucking hell, we're hated in this house. Come and talk. Do you want me to tell them that you never did that? I'll go yeah, and tell them that you never did the shoes. I haven't yeah. touched, touched the Dolce & Gabbana shoes. You know, She'll find them. She probably got them locked away somewhere. She's probably put them somewhere Dolce Gabbana! Just calm that down. All right. If she's that angry about it, she'll come and see me herself. 
If she starts one, I'm babysitting. I'll fucking snap. <laughs> Don't start crying now. Oh. I've spoken to Steph. She said she's definitely not took your shoes, so she said, have a look under your bed. They're not under her fucking bed, she wouldn't be kicking off. Well, what's her excuse for putting shit in my she bed? She said then? she did do that, but she's sorry, it was a joke. It was a it's joke. It's not fucking funny. Do you want me to go and fucking hock a fucking greenie up all over her fucking bed? Is that funny, though? Not being able to go at you, but is it fucking funny? No, it's not funny, no. No, it ain't. Don't shoot the messenger. You're walking about in shoes on a floor that's full of fucking shit, really. I know. And you're putting it in my bed. Come She's on. getting away with fucking murder in this gaff. Murder. She's got two fellas running around fucking doing everything for her, right? And she's doing what she wants, and no one's saying nothing. I'm fucking steaming, Chris. I know. Steaming. I know. Right, come on. Try a toy as well. Huh? Try a toy first. But no one's even kicking off them and just doing it for drama. Do you know what I mean? That's why I can't be asked. Eight twenty-three p.m. Jeremy has been babysitting for one hour and twenty-nine minutes. Jeremy, it is now time to say goodbye to the twins. Your babysitting shift is now over, and you are free to leave the diary room. <laughs> Thank you, big brother. See you later, guys. Hmm. Take care of them for me. Thanks, big brother. Ah. Ah. Megan and Stephanie are clearing the air. I'm sorry for going like that. I don't know. That's all right. I understood it. I get it. It's like statistical, isn't it? You just loads of things just piss me off. I, know. And I don't mean to be nasty. No. I love you as a friend, mm. and I hate getting angry, but. That sh something so stupid like a tracksuit got mm. to me so bad. I, know. I don't know. But that's fine. But I'm, I love you. I'm very, I very that. sorry. Like, I didn't mean to scream like that. It's but right. It was so. It, it's not just you. Loads of other things were building up. I mean, it's just that that tracksuit thing just it was the cherry on the top. Sorry. No. It's just getting too much. Was that such? <laughs> <laughs> I look so orange. I look so white. Daniela has come to talk to Big Brother about Stephanie. Someone else made her bed. Someone else has put all her stuff away for her. She's left Megan's crutch stuff on the floor, soaking wet in a the corner. There's dirty knickers on the floor. I can't live like this. What the fuck is going on in this house? That's not even funny. Why put it, stick it in my, what, because I've nominated her? It's not on. It's really not fucking on. I won't live like a pig in shit. I've been fucking homeless. I don't live like that. I've just lot kicked off in there and everyone agrees the same. Meg's had a row about it today. Jez has fucking run around like a, he, he's, he's fucking pussy whipped to go in and do it for her, tidying up, because she just walks out the room and leaves shit where she wants to. Daniela, have you tried speaking to Stephanie about I don't, it? If I speak to her right now, I'm liable to fucking lose it. I'm telling you now. I've already trod for two weeks over her drawers all over the hockey. I ain't doing it. It ain't happening. I don't pick my kids' fucking underwear up off the floor because they put it in laundry bins and they tidy up after themselves. And they're my children. I'll give birth to them. I'll do anything for them. Right, so why should I pick up some other bird's fucking drawers off the floor? You tell me why. Coming up, Jeremy's had enough. I'm just more pissed off at all them fuckers and then it's like... Stephanie, no, it's not them, it's you, like, what's wrong with you? And Megan sets him straight. Am I being made look like a tick? Jeremy, I'm not going to lie to you. She's going to leave here and get her boyfriend, and she's been teasing you for the whole time. Be prepared for highly offensive language constantly throughout. Eleven forty six PM Housemates are speculating about a new arrival. I I I I think it could be Sam. What's Sam gonna do? Today was just a few people said it and then I'm I thought. Do what? No, not he's he's known. He's a what no model. Sam who? Sam Reese. Who who? Yeah, he is he is well known model. What is, oh my god, that's not gonna Yeah. 
He's amazing, isn't he? I've met him on the... Oh, no, yeah, he's met you, he said. Well, yeah. Yeah, he came... Yeah, yeah. yeah, but he did modelling for, like, a, the runway thing that he did or something. Like, he did that modelling thing. It's, it's fucking gorgeous, dude. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't he? That's my boyfriend. Yeah, I can see why you want to marry him. Oh, hmm. Yeah. Can't you just... No, he's fucking gorgeous, isn't he? Wow. Don't, I'll start crying. Alright. Uh, no, You'll be with him soon. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, marry him. I'm going to. It could be, um... Why would they put a... Why would they put a... Listen, why would they put a red light No, I've seen that. I don't understand that. Carthy, what did I do? No, you ain't done nothing. What is... Nothing. Oh, I don't get it. A bit of what? Further? Yeah. She's mugging you off. Yeah, she's being a cunt. So I don't understand, and I, but I've never seen that like that before. Yeah, she's a, I, she's a mind fuck, it. that's what she is. Hey. Hello, Stephanie. My head is mashed. I've just, like, realised everything. Like, I don't want to get upset because I'm sick of getting upset. Like, I've missed Sam so much that I've had to block him out completely. Because I wouldn't have got this far. Maybe I've substituted Jez for Sam just because I've missed that contact and that laughiness and that palliness. I don't want to look like a tease, you know what I mean? It's not like that because I think the world of Jez. But it's like I can't, I can't win because I can't speak about Sam now. Like Gemma's just gone, that's your boyfriend, he's gorgeous. And then Jez is mugged off, but at the end of the day, he's my fucking boyfriend. I feel like I can't speak about him now. If you don't stop I it... I feel like an absolute dickhead. I feel like a twat. I think you need to stop it. Yeah. I no, I know that now, but I should see was just come and tell me that. But I don't think she would, because... But she told me the other day, she's like... Let's go and talk to you. don't have to say that. Oh, you get me, like, and she's like... Come here. Ooh. Come and talk this out with your boys. No, I'm grand scratch, you. Scratch, scratch. What's up now? Nothing's wrong with me. I'm grand. Jez, you're cleaning up what's No, up. I am. I'm sound. Can we put this down? What's up? Oh, my God. Oh, I can't be honest. Steph, I'd go to bed. Because Gemma said that she... No, not like that. And I've said, yeah. No. Just fill me in, because I'm like, what? <laughs> she said she knew Sam. I said, yeah. No, it's not that's the other. Then what? Just sort it out. Yeah, but I've got, I, so I can't not little... say anything. No, you're all right. You're right. It's grand. It's all good. Just go to bed. Are you actually seeing me? OK. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. All right. I can't actually believe it, so I can't even, like... I've been thrown into all this. It's both both of us that I can't even mention Sam and say that I know him. <laughs> that I know him. Well, now you know Sam. Yeah, exactly. And it's your boyfriend. Yeah, so I can't even say anything then. Yeah. And now I'm, call, now I'm causing a scene in the bedroom. You're not causing a scene Bringing everything bedroom. back up all over again to make us fall out once again. Are you actually serious, Jez? What the fuck? Am I being made look like a tick? I don't want to out the girl. On national TV. Jeremy, I'm not going to lie to you. She's going to leave here and get her boyfriend, and she's been teasing you for the whole time. Yeah, that's fair enough, but why didn't she just tell me that? Because she, she don't want to say it in front of all the cameras. I don't fucking know. When she leaves here, she will go back with her boyfriend, and she's you will be dropped like a sack of shit. One forty-five a.m. Some of the housemates are talking about Stephanie. Doing your thing. She's out there saying, I hope Sam's in that room. I, I really hope he's in there. I just want some love. La, 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 yeah, but then she's also telling Jeremy that she really likes him. What do you mean? Why do you think he's a but She likes him. She's telling him she likes him. Like she's him. saying to him, I'm confused about my relationship because I really like you. And that means Sam won't go very well. I think you need to say up, I, I'm just going to call and see because... So well, I'm, I'm sick of seeing him like that. When I was outside, she said, you're making me out to be a bitch. I went, I am not making you out to be a bitch. Make yourself out to be a bitch. I said that you're acting like... I said, you're leading him on. Jeremy is talking to Big Brother. I, I hate drama. Like, I don't like it. I don't... I'm not... Some people in there might like it, shit stirring and causing shit, you know, just... I know it's a game at the end of the day, and I always thought I'd be strong enough to be able to compete in it, but... I am so just over it. I'm bored of it. I'm sure you've heard her say, what are, you gonna, like, what are we going to do on the outside? What are you going to wait and all this shit? Like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, do you know what I mean? Now, if she didn't have any intentions with me and she's a boyfriend, would she fucking say that? Because I wouldn't. 
I'm t- it's too much, man. It's going around and it's just uh, my head is uh, melted. I don't want to speak to her. I just don't get it. We, we spoke earlier about being honest with each other and being real in the house and, and she's the one that's not being honest and real, you know? Fair enough, yeah, wait until you get out. She said that a few times, that's grand, but don't in front of a room full of people where they know that I look out for her and I, I care for her and I, I have feelings for her. out me like that and say sh- something about her. You know, she's done it two or three times now, then she's went back in her word to me and said, oh, me and Sam have this and that, we didn't really see eye to eye, I don't trust them. Like, are they for real? Like, I, I don't get it. Just do not know why she cannot just say to me how she really feels and just... It just makes me look like a, a proper lunch, like. stupid <laughs> People are wanting to done. Both just. What do you do? I'll talk to you tomorrow or something. Just leave me be. I thought you were going to be gone. I thought you were leaving. No. Can I just have a hug? No, but I just don't want to. Just let us chill out, will you, man? I know, but can I just... you. There's no point of talking to me now because I'm not in the right headspace for it. No, I'm just more pissed off at all them fuckers, and then it's like. Steffi, no, it's not them, it's you, like. And then it's like. Just, look, I honestly just want to be Tomorrow could be our last night, and I, I just want yeah, to have a laugh. Yeah, and cool, that's not great. Get everyone else I just want to go and chill out and have a cigarette and go to bed. I'll talk to you in the morning. Please. Can I come with you? No. I don't bet I just want to be on my own, seriously. I thought you weren't coming back. What? What's wrong with you? I'm just sad. Do you not think I get upset, like? I know that I'm upset. I had the time run. They're going to come down, see how long you were going to come back. Right, yeah, well, I'm back. Can I have a quick hug? Good night. Daniela, Gemma, Jeremy, John, Megan, Stephanie and Tiffany all fierce the public vote. Who steers? You. Decide. From a landline call 0902044 and add the number of the housemate you want to see. From a mobile call 6. 44, 24, and add the number of the housemate you want to see. For Daniela, add or three. For Gemma, add or six. For Jeremy, add or seven. For John, add or eight. For Megan, add eleven. For Stephanie, add fourteen. For Tiffany, add. 15. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. If you're watching on catch up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. I'm sure Ryland's desperate for a chin whack about all that lot. Join him at 11 tonight for Celebrity Big Brother's Bit on the Side. Before that, it's hunting, gathering and a feeling that they might not be alone. In new series 10,000 BC, Two Tribes, next.